Hey everyone, it's a morning of my last appointment on the top half of my tattoo. I'm really tired. I'm really excited because if you saw the last results on the top half of my tattoo, it looks seriously like it's almost gone. I'm not sure how the big flowers are gonna fade out after this last session, but we shall see. The top half of the tattoo is really what I wanted gone completely. So if this doesn't make it go away, I think you wait like three to six months just to see how your body flushes it out over time and then we'll just see if I'm gonna go back and get a session or two more on that area so that it goes away completely so here we go I'm going to go ahead and talk through this a little bit because if you've seen my previous videos I'm sure you've seen enough footage of the laser process as my title suggests I do feel that the pain gets worse as time goes on this is just my personal experience though I have heard a ton of people say that the pain lessens with every session, but that just was not the case for me. Do keep in mind that this is a pretty painful area in general. Ribs are notoriously painful to get tattooed, let alone get tattoo removal. I have also been told that the frequency of the laser will increase as your tattoo fades. The less ink there is to break down in your skin, the more frequency they'll be able to use on it. This is why my facility does test pulses in the beginning of each session to see how different areas react to certain frequencies. They have to evaluate the appropriate amount of laser strength for each area of ink. I've also gotten some comments and questions about how I manage the pain, and to be completely honest, I don't do anything really. When I get there, we ice the area for a few minutes, but that's about it. I don't use any type of numbing cream or anything like that. It was never recommended to me. So I just go in and I hold on to my camera tripod. Focusing on filming when I get this done acts as a stress ball and it really takes some of my mind off of the pain in the moment. I notice that I can tolerate the pain more when my adrenaline is running, I've got a really good amount of sleep, or if I'm just feeling calm that day. When I'm tired, stressed, before my appointment, it seems to be more painful in general, which I guess is expected. All right, it's time to go over the results. Our first picture is our before picture. This is before I got any treatments done. The second picture is after my skin healed from session one. And the last picture is after my skin healed from session two. Here we're looking at what my skin looked like directly after I got session three done. As you can see, it's very similar to my last video. I did have some of the bruising that looks like broken blood vessels. Same as last time, this looks like it hurt, but honestly, it did not hurt at all. I thought that it would hurt if I touched it, similar to a bruise, but luckily it was all fine. Our second picture shows two months after session three. Unfortunately, I fell off a little bit with documenting because I was going on some trips and I was busy. I took another picture three months after, which is the last picture, and you can see a significant difference from the first picture to the second picture and even to this last one. To give a full picture, here are all of the results of my sessions side by side. When I look at the before picture and compare it to my session three result, I honestly can't believe that this happened in only three sessions. Keep in mind that this was over a span of eight months time, so many times it was hard for me to realize just how much the tattoo was fading away. In my next update, I'll be going over the results of session three on the bottom half of my tattoo. A few months have passed since my entire tattoo as a whole was healed from session three, so I'm going to evaluate if there's been any further fading from the initial results that I showed you in this video. As always, thank you so much for following along on this journey and for sharing your own stories in the comments. Getting the positive feedback really means a lot and tells me that I made the right decision with sharing my story on the internet. Please feel free to check out some of my other content, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out tremendously. I'll see you next time.